Hello YouTube, Freddy Cardona here. Welcome back to another Driving in the News. We're here in Patterson, New Jersey. The districts are closed, or the district is closed here in Patterson due to flooding. So school is not in session. It is 29 degrees Fahrenheit. And we are broadcasting another driving in the news here in Patterson, New Jersey. We're gonna start you off with the 8.30 headlines. I wanna thank everyone for viewing. As you see some trees down there on the right. Not trees, but a tree, a small tree came down. Let's see what 1010 Winds is talking about as we see the 703B New Jersey Transit bus there going to American Dream. So we're doing a crossover episode here called Pride in Patterson and Driving in the News together because we're doing this broadcast in Patterson, New Jersey completely. As of the filming of this video, a couple of days, actually on Sunday night, it was a lot of, a lot of rain. And I actually did a live stream from Pennsylvania to Patterson, New Jersey, entirely in that rain. But it's that rain that caused all this flooding all over the area. And that Patterson's included. Let's get you some news. As we do the driving commute in Patterson, New Jersey. News time, 8.30. Good morning, I'm Scott Stanford. It's a move that's unprecedented. The Colorado Supreme Court has declared Donald Trump ineligible for the state's primary ballot because of his role in the January 6th riot at the Capitol, but it's a decision that could affect more than just the primary. Colorado is one of more than a dozen states that holds its primary on Super Tuesday, March 5th. Martinez Memorial Funeral Home here on the right on the primary ballot on March 5th, but it stands to reason that the Colorado justices would say he couldn't appear on the ballot in November of next year either. Right. Uh, the circumstance isn't gonna change in the court's mind. That's correspondent Stephen Portnoy. Trump's attorneys have promised an appeal that'll set up a likely showdown in the U.S. Supreme Court. Here is election law expert David Becker. Whether you agree with this decision or you don't agree with this decision, there's one good thing that comes out of it. It wasn't clear that the United States Supreme Court was going to rule on this issue of whether or not Donald Trump was disqualified from being president due to having engaged in an insurrection. And now I think it's much more likely that the United States Supreme Court will rule on this sooner rather than later. The Trump campaign calling the decision part of a left-wing scheme to interfere on the election. Wins News Time 831. Traffic and transit on the ones. We get you back out to the roads. What do you say? What do you see, Sue Aller? Sue Aller's not there. Looks like we're having some trouble with Sue's line. We will get back to her in just a sec. Let me figure it out. We'll see what we could do. Few all-electric vehicles can compare to the luxury and performance of a 2023 Porsche Taycan. One drive I featured a, a school here earlier in the year. Let's take a swing by. There are no kids. I never give out addresses. No, her line seems to be down, so let's do this. Let's get to active weather meteorologist Joe Lundberg. See what Joe's got for us. Joe, not a bad day on tap today, huh? Yeah, we're cooking up a good one today with sunshine, Scott. There will be a breezy, chilly afternoon with a high of 46, but really not bad for the 20th of December. Tonight should be clear, brisk, and seasonably cold. About 36 in the city, upper 20s in the coldest suburbs. We get to tomorrow, lots of sunshine again. Breezy, a little bit colder, some chillier air pollution down out of northern New England and the eastern Canada. 41 for high. For those of you that have gone to that school, you know which school that is. I won't mention it. When I show a school, someone always says, don't give out the address. As if that's a detriment or a danger to anyone. 
Always remember, folks, if anyone wants to do harm to anyone, all they got to do is go on the internet and Google the name, the number or the name of the school in the city, and everything's going to come up. Everything is public. There's no secrecy to any of that stuff. And when I show a school, I do it only at the request of subscribers. I don't show them on my own. Hamas's northern brigade and taking control of Jabalia. Strikes that hit the refugee camp there killed at least 50. More strikes in southern Rafah killed almost Let's see, what street are we on? I lost two grandchildren, said this woman. Hanging out in Patterson, New Jersey, listening to the news. Correspondent Ramey Innocencio, an Israeli official, tells CNN that the potential pause in fighting would be part of a deal that'll last either one or two weeks. The same official says Israel and Hamas are not near a deal on the release of more hostages, but talks continue and nothing is... We're on 20th on. Ave and we just crossed Lewis Street. The rebel attacks on cargo ships in the Red Sea, the Biden administration has announced the creation of an enhanced naval protection force to patrol the area. But retired Colonel Steve Ganyard says the force will likely be limited on what it can do. They can uh, either go after the Houthis on the land... You got St. Stephen's Church right there. So if anyone has gone to that church, let me know in the comments below. Sort of play defender. The Houthis are believed to have been armed. And the senior citizens building there on the right, right over there on the right. And in that building there, I'm not sure what that red brick building is. Cheering loudest to hear that his bill allowing fans to bring reusable water bottles into all sports venues in New York City is expected to be approved today by his colleagues in the council. He tells 1010 Winds that even with some extra security measures, the move will both cut down on plastic waste and mean fewer fans paying 10 bucks for a bottle of water. The bill allows for sport venues to uh, require that attendees empty their bottle and they're also allowed to prohibit you got Gary Mountain up there on, on the, the left bottle, which is important that way security guards at the stadiums and sport venues can see what's in it uh, City Field already allows reusable bottles as long as they're 20 ounces or smaller as it stands now most containers are not allowed at either Yankee Stadium nor Madison Square Crossing Garden. Summer Street News Time 835 we had some technical issues before, but I want to get you back out to the roads. Check out this Wednesday morning commute. Sue Aller. All right, let's go over to New Jersey Transit. We do have about a 30-minute delay. On if you're from Patterson, New Jersey, I ask that you share this video with other Pattersonians or former Pattersonians. We're doing a subscriber push here for the end of the year. Let folks know that this channel exists. We're on the intersection of Straight Street. And also we have problems in Queens on the east side of the natural right at the Kew Gardens interchange. Uh, there is an accident and then on the west side side just slam packed by the LIE and then you have more delays. Let's on make a left airport traffic and transit every ten minutes on the ones and breaking traffic alerts. Who saw my video on the Patterson skateboard park? It's around here somewhere. Let me see. I think it's over here. A holiday message from Jackson Hewitt. Trust the Yikes. Yeah, see, it, it was this one right here. I did a video right here not too long ago. That's a skate park, park, skate park that we have here in Patterson. If you haven't seen it, check it out. You're missing a bunch of stuff. Also, if you're from Patterson and you a subscriber to the Pride in Patterson playlist. I request that you share this video and others like it with other Pattersonians. We want to let everyone know that this channel exists. Let's make a left. We have a homeless encampment here. Now this here is a dead end. Oh, let's get you back to the news. $68 down, like a new Tucson, only $68 down. A new Palisade, just $68 down. A new Kona, only $68 down. So this here is, is a homeless encampment, praying that they are staying warm. The sad situation when you see homeless 
And it's even sadder when some of the homeless are veterans. PTSD is not a joke, man. Or HudsonHyundai.com. Things with Larry Crinson See dealer for details. Well, Bradley Cooper's biographical drama about composer Leonard Bernstein starts streaming on Netflix today. If cinema doesn't sing in you, then nothing sings in you. And if nothing sings in you, then you can't make music. Something she told me. Maestro, which stars and is directed and co-written by Cooper, follows the relationship between Bernstein and his wife. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, and none of this Well, it looks like what we do in the shadows is staying dead and out of this world. FX has announced that the comedy about a coven of vampires in Staten Island will be ending after its upcoming sixth season. Is there a coven of vampires in Staten Island? And for real? Tell me. Uline is here for the hard workers. For the ones rolling up their sleeves, working around the clock. That was Washington Ave we were just on. Uline is dedicated to helping you make that happen. Working seven days a week, staying fully stocked and ready to ship any of our 41,000 items the same day. Uline, your shipping and industrial supply specialists. Visit Uline.com. Iconic Capital LLC is interviewing now for a portfolio data manager based in New York, New York to manage investment and financial databases. Domestic travel is required 5%. We've got St. Joseph's Hospital there on the left. I am purposefully staying away from the flooded areas here in Patterson. Hey, what are you waiting for? 1010 wins now on 92.3 FM. Crystal clear audio. It sounds amazing. The news watch never stops. This is 1010 wins at 92.3 FM. You give us 22 minutes. We'll give you the world. Good morning. We're at 32 degrees at 840 on this Wednesday, December 20th. I'm Scott Stanford. Here's what's happening. Floodwaters from Monday's storm will still waiting to see if they recede in several areas. Some New Jersey communities still under a state of emergency. City officials are at odds over low-level police stops and whether or not they should be documented and put on record. The city council votes on it today. State lawmakers looking to expand the Son of Sam law to ex-spouses after the estranged wife of Gilgo Beach serial suspect Rex Hewerman was reportedly paid a million dollars in connection with the documentary. Colorado State Supreme Court says no. They will not allow Donald Trump on the presidential ballot in that state next year. Can I get a raise of hands if you sleep in the nude? Anybody? Just shake your head. Experts say there are a lot of health benefits to getting into bed naked. Checking sports, Rangers and Islanders both win. Devils lost. Jets won't see Aaron Rodgers until <coughs> next season. You're saying Scott going under Route 80 right now on Main Street. No, I'm telling you, experts say AccuWeather not as windy today. Plenty of sunshine, high in the mid 40s. When's news time? 8:41. We're going to get you back out to the roads. Traffic and transit on the ones. What do you say, Sue Aller? Crossing Green Street. I did a video there. Check it out. Remember to share these videos with other Pattersonians and ex-Pattersonians, please. And it is causing some big delays southbound, also real slow by Atlantic Avenue. But the Grand Central eastbound stop and go delays right by the key school number in three there on the left. If you guys remember, had a partial roof collapse there. I did a video there also. A lot of people who are not subscribed are missing a lot of Patterson content. Make sure to subscribe and like the videos if you like the content, only if you like it. Bridge 25 at the Lincoln 40 at the Holland Tunnel. Plus, it's a little bit slow as you head into Manhattan at the RFK Triborough Bridge. Now, here's what we see on Long Island's Big Three. The Southern State Parkway. There's the cathedral. Right there. Now we also have a problem, and that is on 280 with some flooding. Got a Jets fan crossing the street. The Jets aren't doing that good this year. Next report at 851, 1010 wins on 92.3 FM. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the news. We are going to finish up here in a moment. 
with Patterson, New Jersey. We're on the corner of Grand Street. That's Mexico Boulevard, also known as Mexico Boulevard. We've got the Divinas Beauty Salon. On the right hand side, Casa de Dios y Puerta del Cielo, Movimiento Misionero Mundial. On the left. Let's go up Grand Street. I have some cousins that grew up here on Grand Street. Right here to the left. We got the Grand Hardware. That used to belong to Sheriff Engelhart. There on the left. And you got the Passaic County Jail on the right. All right, guys, that will do it for today's Pride and Patterson morning commute video. I appreciate all of you that have subscribed. Please make sure to share this video with other Pattersonians and ex-Pattersonians. Let them know that they have a channel that shows Patterson content that's neutral and positive. We don't show this city for an agenda. Well, actually, I guess it is. There is an agenda, right? Because my goal is to flood YouTube with Patterson, with po positive Patterson videos to counteract all of the negative videos because when someone posts in Patterson it's almost always negative and there are positives all right guys thank you so much we're here on Mill Street to close out the video I appreciate everyone's views make sure please 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 share the videos we're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers we want to let people know that this channel exists and we'll see you on the next video.